Alright. How you doing, fellas? We're here with uh Just Jules. Chirp chirp. And uh this is an interview conducted by uh yours truly Greg Al Hines, a musician, documentarian, and interviewer. AKA Dr. Noise. <laughs> all right, all right. So I tell us, that. tell us, tell us. How did you get started uh, with uh, writing in particular? Uh, not just uh, lyricism or writing uh, hip hop lyrics, but just writing in general. Well, um, I actually believe it started with my with my mother, I guess, when I was six years old. Like the the best thing they ever gave me was a library card, and then from there I've I read a lot of a lot of books, like ridiculously. And on some comic book story type of thing, it all started with my ninth grade honors English teacher. When actually I think it was tenth grade when he had us um, write a poetry, write a poem. And my first poem was called um, I think it was called Black Coffee. It was like back in ninety five, ninety four, something like that. And that's how it all started, very innocently or, or innocuously. And then I say around. 18, 19 ish. That's when I started writing my rhymes, and that's pretty much the the shing ding of it. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. How do you approach writing a rhyme differently than say writing a poem? Man, he's deep, man. That's, that's why I mess with this dude. <laughs> um, with a poem, I, you know what? That's a good question. I say with a poem, it's something that I have to feel, meaning that I'm not trying to be funny, but the moon guy let me in, be aligned with the stars and, and, and the sun god and, and Osiris and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> For me to get in the mood and I'm like, Boop! basically I got to catch the ethereal train. Right, right, right. With, with rhymes, it's so easy that it's nothing for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to like bogart or anything, but it's very, very simple for me to write a rhyme. It's nothing. I compare it to like, no offense, but writing a rhyme to me is like taking a photo. And then writing a poem is like drawing a Picasso. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, you can't, I can't force it. And that's, that's as simple as I can make your question. Yeah, cool. That's simple and complex at the same time. Anyway, um, my other question to you is um, when you're selecting beats, whether it be for a mixtape or some original material, which I hear you do have some original material forthcoming, of as well as a mixtape right. um, forthcoming. Um, oh, by the way, before I forget, you know, cheap promo. <laughs> the the b b mixtape on, on SoundCloud, on the Just Jewels. All right, cool, you know what I'm saying? Cool, cool. Now, um, with um, picking your beats for like your mixtape, for instance, versus picking original um, beats, um, what's your process for that? Like, uh, What's well, to, that like? Well, to be honest with you, um, you might have to call you Dr. Noise. You can call me Dr. Noise. That's, nah, that's, that's going to be your name from now on. <laughs> right, your moniker. Right. <laughs> no, um, whoo, man. You know, I don't mean sound conceited enough, but I, I pick my beats like, like my woman, very fine. Meaning, I have a certain criteria, and the criteria is I need that boom, bap, that. I gotta hear that in the background somewhere uh, right, on the snares right. or whatever. Right, right, right. And basically, the the I'm not trying to be funny like it's a Dave Chappelle thing or something, but the beat gotta make me go like this. I, I gotta be like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Like, like my neck's about to fall off or something, and right. that's when I know it's a good beat. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I, but I'm not gonna just jump on anything. And most importantly, it sounds funny, but the same way you can have a really good looking girl, you don't like it. Sometimes I can hear a beat and it just won't. Move me, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's how I really I I, I pick the beats by the by the feel and by the boom bap. You know what I'm saying? How my it makes my neck twirl and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Does it make me do this, or does it just make me go? Eh. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you gotta feel it, right? So um, let me ask you another question, and this is kind of not meant to be self-serving, but just kind of a a peek into your whole I guess creative team. What's it like working with Brother Noise, the man musician? Like, what what is that process like? Uh, um, being that this is your first outing with him, this this uh, you know the Bo mix mix eight. 
So what is what has that been like uh, working with Brother Noise? Well, to be honest with you, man, you know, I'm a very patient dude, and I'm very particular about who who I mess with and who I don't mess with. And with, with Noise, it's more like um, I feel like me and him have a a Tupac Dre connection. In the sense, I'm the writer. I mean, I'm the you know I'm the writing artist or whatever, and he's the producer. But we just link up together, like you know what I'm saying, kind of like the old school, like um, Rock Him and uh, what's the other dude? That would be Rock Him or um, what's the other like like uh, Eric Parrish, or something else, making dollars. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, EPMD. Yeah, EPMD. Yeah, 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 it's kind of like that. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like um, Eric Sermon and, and Parrish. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I just I just lucked out on. Um, I'm my producer, really, because I, I probably been through a good eight or ten different people just, like, quote-unquote interviewing them, and, you know, it has to be a musical match, like, what we like, and it has to be a mental match in terms of what we think, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I that's what I get. So what made, what made you select him out of all those other producers? Not to sound... Uh, no, I, 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 no, um, keeping it real, man, like, um... My man Gavin, he recommended him. He was like, yo, try try him out. He's real professional. He got dope digs. And then um when I went when I went there the first time, I was impressed by the professionalism and just the skill. You know what I'm saying? But most importantly, like I said before, I've had producers or whatever where like they'll have the dope equipment, you know what I'm saying? Or they'll have the dope skill to match up, but but not have the equipment. Or they'll have skill and equipment. But personality wise, we either won't get along or that's they're, they're, where they're going is, is not where I'm going, you know what I'm saying? Because right. I have a different ethos to what I want to hear, and they, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I got nothing against people trying to mumble or people trying to dance or even people are trying to have a good time because that's all part of the palais of hip hop, but that's not me. You dig mm -hmm. what I'm saying? 